Pioneers back on it. They seem to be rolling on the offensive side of the ball right now. Ball movement's going well, and players moving away from the Whoa. ball. And then a nice shot there by Jasmine Gatson. Gets into the lane and hits about an eight-footer. Look at this. Jump, stop, pull up, and just, just all cord. And, and from one of your post players, that shows some skill, some touch. And if the Pioneers were hitting these shots in the first half, we'd probably have a running clock. Oh, yeah. Good hand there by Dembuya. Yeah, we've seen a little physicality, but nothing insane. 2.50 to go. This first quarter is flown oh. by. And speaking of flying, we're going to see the trampoline. And that is what you like at home. This crowd going absolutely bonkers out there after a two-handed dunk from Justin Leipa. And Nick, we've been talking about this guy's springs for a while. That was an easy two-hander. I was just gonna say, it That's didn't like a seem like he was try It didn't seem like he went full bore on that. He just, nice, smooth, no urgency, up and in, no big deal, two-hand dunk. He's gonna get his. So, I mean, he shoots in high volume, too. So, it's, he's not worried about his percentage. And there was Brown getting in the face there. The Hornets have gotten themselves to within three, but Mac Moore takes it upon himself to get this back to a five-point lead. I think Uncle Mac was playing a little pool on that shot because the English that he put on that ball was backwards. Up and under, backhand with that. Uh, just, just a special player. Just oh, he's great. going in his bag tonight. <laughs> Haley Sheffield is not to be deterred, though. Sheffield all over her. Back is on the block. Oh, wow, it looked like she moved her foot. Lumberg now faked out Davis, but still no big opportunities for the Dreadnoughts until that cut in high glass and Dexter with their first lead in a minute. Powell now over to Davis. Davis cuts baseline, but a little too much. Foul up and in and one for Emmanuel Davis. Emmanuel Davis really hasn't done a lot as far as scoring. She's done everything else. So it's nice to see her finally get, you know, put some points in. She's done a lot at the foul line. She's been aggressive all game long. Love the way she followed that shot up by Davis. She, you can see that she takes pleasure in, in working hard and doing the tough stuff. And the conventional three-point play is huge. much of a break, if any break. I don't think many of these Eagle starters have had much of a break so their far. Their bench, I mean, we take a look at the bench. Everybody has their, their warm-ups off, but they only play about seven players. And that, that could prove detrimental coming down the stretch with this Huron team that pushes nine, ten guys, and that is an alley-oop. Are you kidding me right now? To Noah Silkworth, and that's what we were just talking about right there. Work the ball around, try to find that open guy coming in off the baseline, and maybe you get a layup, maybe you get a sweet alley-oop dunk. And that play was the execution on the pass. Robic throws it right at the corner, so, I mean, that was an easy two-handed flush. I say easy, because I do it all the time. And Roebuck set that up that entire first half. That dude didn't pass on a shot. He's not Walk seen three. a shot that he didn't like. Yeah, you... you well, and, it, and it's interesting because it looks like they've got Brown inbounding and more... He's still got Lyle on him. But it was almost like they were looking for Latham. And that toss went over wow. his head. Wow. Yeah, Brown just needed to get that ball to Latham. Or, I mean, Yassine Issa's out there. Issa can handle the rock. That, that's the sort of thing that happens when you, you just dial in on one dude. You can't and have You were that. saying that. You cannot because Latham is wide open. Look at Latham. Latham is telling him, I'm wide Me. open. Yes. Pioneers now 28 seconds to go. Still only down a bucket. Half court offense just so electric in this gym right now. Both sides beating off of each other. And there's Micah Powell for three. Hi, and that one rattles in. Are you kidding me? No time out. Ritter has now eight out? seconds. Makari Moore tried it with a chance to make some magic. He lets that one go. Back iron, knocked away. Rebound, and I think we've got, 
do we have a follower? Is that it? This game's not over. If, if you ask these Pioneer the players, that's it. Over. That's it for the, for the Pioneer. There's lots of hugs, and man, Micah Powell with the stones to shoot that shot from the corner. Well, that's our player of the game right there, right? I mean, if you can come in and hit that bucket. This one is a 54-53 victory for Pie High.